No! I hate when you do that. No, look, I ain't got time for you today. Tell you what, rock, paper, scissors. If I win, you leave. If you win, I leave. Okay, cool. Rock, paper, scissors, shoot. Ha! Rock always beats scissors. No, what do you mean no? That's how it works. Rock always beats scissors. Jeez, where'd you get those scissors? No, don't you think, don't, no. No, you're not supposed to have a scissor. What's up everybody, my name is Scott and you're watching Kentucky Ballistics. We're back out on the range and today I got something really cool for you. The other night I was watching TV and they were doing a ribbon cutting. They had giant scissors and I was like, I wonder if I can find a pair of those. So naturally, got on the internet and I found these. <laughs> these are giant, giant scissors. They're 36 inches long. This is real steel. You've got these giant plastic grips and they say that they function like real scissors, you can cut stuff with this. So before we shoot them, let's try them out real quick. Okay, let's see if we can cut something with these. Oh man, that's ridiculous. That's a good little limb there. How about you? Ah, just a little off the top. <laughs> let's try a thicker branch. Oh, may have met its match. Oh, <laughs> ow, that's pretty impressive. Huh, I wanna try one more. Oh, oh, we about broke our scissors. All right, I think we should stop. That's a pretty big limb. I'm impressed. All right, well, now let's go see if they'll stop a bullet. Okay, well, let's get these things set up. Luckily, it came with this nifty little stand. Oh, that's perfect. Nice. I tell you what, I'm going to angle them just a tad. So if we were to have a ricochet, it should go that way. Okay, today we're gonna start small and work our way up. So I'm gonna start out with a 22 long rifle and I'm gonna be using a Ruger LCR 22. Before I shoot these scissors, I wanna say thank you to Sportsman's Guide for sponsoring today's video. If you need anything that would be considered outdoor recreation, be sure and check them out. And if you do, make sure you use coupon code KBALLISTICS. It'll get you $20 off any order that's $100 or more. This is the most inaccurate little pistol I have, so I'll be surprised if I hit it. All right, I'm pretty sure this thing always pulls to the left, so I'm gonna aim to the right a little bit. Hey, all right, I was right. It pulls to the left. I was aiming to the right. Okay, the scissors look good. Here's where we hit with a 22 and uh, didn't even put a dent. Okay, up next is nine millimeter and I'm gonna be using a Glock 19. Oh my goodness. Okay, well, the plastic handles, they don't seem to be too tough. Oh dear. Oh my goodness. Okay, so uh, that didn't really work out the way I wanted it to. Um, uh, let's see here. So these scissors, there we go. They were like this. And here's where I hit with the nine millimeter and then the handles shattered. And for the record, uh, the nine mil did not do anything to these scissors. Okay, up next is 45 ACP and I'll be using a Springfield 1911. Oh, well, these scissors don't seem to be very tough because now they, just, they broke in half. This isn't really going as planned. Hmm. Okay, well, here we go. Um, no, I threw it like this. No, like, no, 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 okay. Like this, and like this, no, this. Yeah, here we go, all right. Wait, that was 22, there's nine mil. And then on this side, this is where we hit with 45 ACP. Still not doing a whole lot. Nothing a little duct tape can't fix. Okay, all right, all right, all right. These giant scissors don't seem to be holding up very well. Don't get me wrong, the steel is doing pretty good, but the scissors as a whole, 
they're falling apart. So we're gonna go ahead and skip a few calibers and jump up to 500 Smith & Wesson Magnum. And I'm gonna be using an Underwood ammo, 700 grain lead hard cast. Whoa! Well, there's definitely not a whole lot of them left anymore. Okay, well, it doesn't look like my duct tape held up very well. That is one bent blade. Oh, we broke this one. Yeah, yeah, that one broke. So the duct tape did okay. It, it held on to it. Uh, I think I'm gonna duct tape them together just one more time. The scissors are not holding up very well. They just keep falling apart, but we still haven't made it through the actual blades of the scissors. We just keep denting them. Well, I'm gonna go ahead and skip a few calibers again. Go big or go home, right? Let's hit them with a 50 BMG. I'm gonna be using a PMC bronze 660 grain full metal jacket. Well, I think that'll do it. Okay, well, oh yeah. We definitely made it through the scissors that time. Yep, yep, we blew right through them. Well, today's video didn't go exactly as planned, but I still had a lot of fun. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, do me a favor and hit that like button. And if you're not subscribed to Kentucky Ballistics, do yourself a favor and hit that subscribe button. Don't forget to check out Kentucky Ballistics Clothing and be sure to check me out on Patreon, Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter. Links to all those can be found in the description down below or on my website, KentuckyBallistics.com. Again, my name is Scott. Thank you so much for watching Kentucky Ballistics and I'll see you next time. Rock always beats scissors!